Welcome to Nursing Online Education YouTube channel. In this video we are going to talk about 25 emergency drugs in ICU. So before starting this video like this video, and subscribe to Nursing Online Education for future updates. Here are the 25 emergency drugs in ICU. Number 25. Adrenaline. This medication is intended to treat severe allergic reactions to insect stings, bites, foods, pharmaceuticals, or other substances in the event of an emergency. Epinephrine improves breathing, stimulates the heart, raises blood pressure, reverses hives, and reduces swelling in the face, lips, and neck fast. The effects of this drug are immediate but short-lived. Get medical treatment straight away after injecting epinephrine. Inform the healthcare provider that you have given yourself an epinephrine injection. This drug should not be injected into your hands, feet, buttocks, or any other part of your body other than your thigh. If this happens, notify your healthcare provider straight away. Remove the injector and properly dispose of it. Number 24. Atropine. Atropine is a prescription drug that is used to treat symptoms of low heart rate, bradycardia, reduce salivation and bronchial secretions before surgery, and is an antidote for cholinergic drug overdose or mushroom poisoning. Atropine can be taken alone or in combination with other drugs. Adults and pediatric patients weighing more than 41 kg who have been poisoned by sensitive organophosphorus nerve agents with anticholinesterase activity, as well as organophosphorus or carbamate insecticides, should take atropine, 90 pounds. Number 23. Noradrenaline. Levift, norepinephrine bitartrate, is a vasoconstrictor that works similarly to adrenaline, and is used to treat life-threatening low blood pressure, hypotension, that can arise as a result of certain medical conditions or surgical procedures. During or after CPR, Levift is frequently utilized, cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Noradrenaline is a vasoconstrictor that causes peripheral vasoconstriction and blood pressure elevation by primarily stimulating one receptors. At larger doses, it also possesses some one receptor agonist activity, which leads in a favorable inotropic impact on the heart. Number 22. Calcium gluconate. Hypercalcemia, cardiac arrest, and cardiotoxicity caused by hyperkalemia or hypermagnesemia are treated with calcium gluconate. It's a calcium salt, according to the classification. Oral calcium salts are used as a dietary supplement for people who don't obtain enough calcium from their diet. In people with high blood potassium, calcium gluconate is utilized as a cardioprotective agent. Magnesium sulfate toxicity is treated with calcium gluconate. Number 21. Sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate is a prescription drug that is used to treat metabolic acidosis, hyperkalemia, and cardiac arrest symptoms. Sodium bicarbonate can be taken on its own or in combination with other drugs. Alkalinizing agents are a class of medications that include sodium bicarbonate. Sodium bicarbonate, sodium bicarbonate 5% injection, injection may be used to treat metabolic acidosis, which can occur as a result of severe renal disease, uncontrolled diabetes, circulatory insufficiency due to shock, anoxia or severe dehydration, extracorporeal blood circulation, and severe primary lactic acidosis. Number 20. Amiodarone. Amiodarone is one of the most commonly used antiarrhythmic medications in emergency rooms. Amiodarone is recommended as the antiarrhythmic of first choice in cardiac arrest with shockable rhythm, refractory ventricular fibrillation, VF, pulseless ventricular tachycardia, VT. Number 19. 25% dextrose. 25% dextrose injection, USP is a sterile, non-pyrogenic, hypotonic solution of dextrose in water for intravenous injection to treat hypoglycemia and provide carbohydrate calories. Number 18. Nitroglycerin. This medicine is used to treat angina, chest pain, in persons who have a heart ailment, coronary artery disease. It can also be used to assist prevent chest pain before physical activities, such as exercise or sexual activity. Nitroglycerin is a nitrate, which is a type of medication. Number 17. Succinylcholine. Succinylcholine is an intravenous, IV, skeletal muscle relaxant used as an adjuvant to general anesthesia, to help with tracheal intubation, and to relax skeletal muscles during surgery or mechanical ventilation. Number 16. Dopamine. It works by increasing the heart's pumping strength and increasing blood flow to the kidneys. 
Dopamine injection, intropin, is used to treat shock caused by a heart attack, trauma, surgery, heart failure, renal failure, or other significant medical disorders. Number 15. Dobutamine. Dobutamine enhances blood flow by stimulating cardiac muscle and assisting the heart in pumping more efficiently. Dobutamine is used to treat cardiac decompensation caused by weakening heart muscle in the short term. Dobutamine is frequently prescribed when other cardiac medications have failed. Number 14. Larsix. Larsix is a prescription drug that is used to treat the symptoms of fluid retention, edoema, in people who have congestive heart failure, liver illness, or renal disease. Larsix can be taken alone or in combination with other drugs. Larsix is a diuretic that belongs to the loop class of medicines. Number 13. Lidocaine. Lidocaine is a safe medication that is used in various fields of emergency medicine, such as visceral, central pain, renal colic, terminally ill patients, headache, postherpetic neuralgia, post-stroke pain syndrome, CRPS, neuropathic pain, intraarticular injection, topical anesthesia, beer block, local and regional anesthesia, 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 local and regional anesthesia. The most popular application of local anesthetics, LAs, which can give anesthetic for a variety of invasive operations, is LA infiltration. Number 12. Adenosine. Adenosine is a prescription medicine used to convert paroxysmal supraventricular tachycardia, PVST, particularly that caused by accessory bypass tracts, to sinus rhythm, Wolf-Parkinson-White syndrome. Number 11. Hydrocortisone. 13.39% with V-hydrocortisone sodium phosphate This presentation can be used right away in an emergency situation containing the following circumstances. Acute allergic reactions, include anaphylactic reactions to medicines, and status asthmaticus adrenaline is supplemented by this drug. Number 10. Vasopressin. After surgery or during abdominal x-rays, vasopressin is also used to treat or prevent certain stomach disorders. In emergency situations, vasopressin is used to elevate blood pressure in individuals who are in shock. Number 9. Midazolam. Midazolam is a novel imidazobenzodiazepine derivative that is two to three times more effective than diazepam, is water-soluble, has a fast onset and brief duration of action, and has a significant amnestic effect. These characteristics make it an excellent choice for outpatient sedation. Number 8. Naloxone. Naloxone works by blocking or reversing the side effects of opioid medications, such as excessive sleepiness, decreased breathing, and loss of consciousness. A narcotic is a term used to describe an opioid. In an emergency, naloxone is used to treat an adult or kid who has overdosed on opioids. Number 7. Diazepam. In emergency cases, diazepam rectal gel is used to prevent cluster seizures, episodes of heightened seizure activity, in persons who are taking other epilepsy drugs, seizures. Diazepam belongs to the benzodiazepine family of drugs. It works by relaxing aberrant brain overactivity. Number 6. Paracetamol. Traumas to the musculoskeletal system are among the most prevalent presentations in emergency rooms. Paracetamol and non-steroidal anti-inflammatory analgesics NSAIDs, are commonly used to treat traumatic musculoskeletal pain. Number 5. Methylprednisolone. Arthritis, blood disorders, severe allergic reactions, certain malignancies, eye conditions, skin, kidney, intestinal, lung ailments, and immune system disorders are all treated with this drug. Methylprednisolone takes effect quickly. It takes 1 to 2 hours for an oral dose to reach its peak effect, and 1 hour for an intravenous dose to reach its peak effect. Number 4. Heparin. Heparin is an anticoagulant, blood thinner, that keeps blood clots from forming. Heparin is a medication that is used to treat and prevent blood clots caused by a variety of medical diseases and treatments. It's also used to lower the danger of blood clots before surgery. Number 3. Aminophilin. Asthma, chronic bronchitis, emphysema, and other lung illnesses cause wheezing, shortness of breath, and difficulty breathing. Aminophilin is used to prevent and cure these symptoms. It relaxes and opens the airways in the lungs, making breathing easier. Number 2. Phenergan. Promethazine is a medication that is used to prevent and treat nausea and vomiting caused by certain situations, such as before, after surgery or motion sickness. It's also used in combination with other medications to treat severe allergic responses, 
anaphylaxis, and blood product reactions. When you can't take promethazine by mouth, it can be used to treat mild allergic responses. It may also be used to make you feel tired or calm before, during, or after surgery, as well as during labor and delivery. It may also be used to improve the effectiveness of certain opioid pain medications, such as meperidine. Promethazine is an antihistamine that works by preventing your body from producing a natural substance called histamine during an allergic reaction. Number 1. Dexamethasone. The injection of dexamethasone is used to treat severe allergic responses. Certain types of edoema, fluid retention and swelling, excess fluid stored in bodily tissues, gastrointestinal disorders, and certain types of arthritis are treated with it. Injections of dexamethasone are also used in diagnostic tests. What do you think about this video? Do let us know down in the comment section below. If you enjoyed this video and want to hear from us again, be sure to hit that subscribe button before you go.